Oh, oh my gosh. Did you wake up this morning and your lower back is just like, oh, or did you do a cartwheel and you're like, oh my gosh. So I move a lot of equipment every day for my job. I move all my gymnastic stuff from my car to the schools and houses. And then it's a lot of stuff. So sometimes my back, my lower back just gives me some pain. So I'm just gonna share with you what I do and it seems to give me some relief. I'm just gonna share what works for me. And remember, you always should go to the doctor because I'm not a doctor. I mean, wow, that would be crazy if I were. They're so smart. Um, but yeah, go to the doctor and get help. Obviously, if you think something's wrong. I'm just giving you some tips that help me, that might help you. You always want to ice, of course. Like right after an injury, that's one thing I do know. You, When my back is hurting, I ice for 20 minutes on and off throughout the day. And it really does a world of difference. And you can sleep with a pillow in between your leg. You shove it in there and you go like that when you're on your side and you put it underneath your knees when you're laying flat and it really, really helps the pressure. And for some of the ab exercises, I'm gonna show you later. I maybe said to do too many reps, just try like 10 of each thing. You don't wanna, you know, overdo things. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I do is give a little stretch to your hamstrings, so important. So I like just the straight leg one. Just let your head go. That's a big thing is letting that head dangle. And then I like to grab in between my toe, my big toe, and I take a deep breath. <sighs> and then I pull and you just gotta like release your head. Oh wow, it just feels really, really good on your back and your vertebrae. Oh my gosh, so you can hold this for like maybe a minute or so. And you can also do it in a straddle. Just grab your elbows and just hang. Walk back and forth. Just let that neck just, you know, take a vacation. And then bend your knees when you come up. Roll up slowly. And we'll do some more stretches in a minute. But I also want you to hang. If you can find a bar, it feels so good. It's like, oh, relief. So. You just want to hang, oh wow, just doing that. I like to take a deep breath also here. And then you can just let your toes go in front of you and just let your whole, you can feel like your skeleton just unwinding. It's like pulling apart and it feels super duper. Just let your body relax and hang. Oh. Now, the next one I do can be dangerous. I do not suggest on this home bar, don't do this. Only do this if you have one of those things where you can go upside down, you hook your feet. You know, you see it on those infomercials. You know, that one guy's like, oh, my back feels so much better. Um, but what I do, I just hang upside down on my own. Uh, the monkey bars at the swing set, you can do it there, but have someone hold your legs. Okay, or only do it if you're comfortable, if you're we're gymnast or whatever. Because when I do this, yeah, don't do this here. I don't even, I, I usually don't do this on this bar, but just for today. Oh, wow. I took the deep breath. I can feel literally my whole back. It's crazy. It's like a, it's like a slinky. You know when you take the slinky and you like pull it out? I'm slinkified. Oh, wow. I mean, I could honestly stay here for a long time. Great hamstring workout too. Okay, so those are some of my favorites and let's move on. The next stretch you wanna do, I just lay down and just give your hamstring a little stretch. Keep this leg straight, grab your calf, deep breath in again, and just gently pull, but keep your hips straight. Try not to twist at all. I like to be straight because I feel like this is connected to your back. So if you get these hamstrings like loosened up, it just does a world of difference. I already feel better already. Oh yeah. 
And then you can just hug your knees in and just gently roll from side to side. Oh, that's wonderful. And then you can pull one knee in. Not gonna twist yet, because when it's really tweaked, I don't like to twist too much. But then once it's a little better, then I like to add the twist. But if it's like pretty bad, I just do it like this. And then you wanna get your abs. If you get your abs super strong, then it's gonna take some pressure off your back. So let's just do a, bit, a very quick um, ab workout. Lay down, put your hands under your butt. Now see how I'm arching? You gotta really push that back down and roll your hips under. And let's just kick our legs. But remember, if you arch like this, it's not gonna do anything. Then you're gonna hurt your back even more. What's the point? So you gotta really watch what I do. I push my back into the ground. Suck your guts. Suck them in there. And pull your belly button in. So maybe do like, I don't know, 30 of these. Then you can do both legs. Don't forget to breathe. And then after we do some of these, and you can add some on. I'm just doing a few of each one. Then you can put your hands behind your head, rest your head in your fingertips. Same thing, don't let that back arch. Once you, once you feel it start to arch, then stop. And then you can even lift your hips like that. Maybe do 20 to 30 of those. Then you can do itsy bitsy circles, but notice I'm not moving anything else but my legs. Okay, and then you should start to feel it now in your abs a little bit. We really pull that in. Now keep your legs up and put your arms here and let's see if you can roll up really slow. And let's just hold this. And then if you can, try and lower to here. But remember, if you arch, uh -uh. just go until the point where you can't arch. You can even add a little crisscross. Just trying to get some basic abs here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You can even go in and out. You can do all different variations. You can let your head go and just do these. This is a good one. You can pull up here and do the, what do they call these, hundreds? This is excellent. You can just, this is a really good one if you're, if it's, you know, pretty tender. Because this one's like pretty simple. But look at my back, if I arch, nope, time's up, gotta push that back down into the ground. And then this one's really good. I cross my foot and touch my heel and lift. Just do like um, 30 to 50 on each side of these. And then you should definitely start to feel something in your abs, okay? Anything that's gonna get this without giving you, you know, too much pain. And then the roller. Ooh. I love this thing. Oh, but before the roller, I saw a guy on YouTube, Athlean X. Thank you, Mr. Mister, because you're, he's like a physical therapist and um, a really super guy. So he suggested doing this, and I promise you it makes it feel better. You lay on your side like this, and then just rest on your elbow, get everything in line. Put your hand on your hip, and then dig your thumb into this right this muscle right here next to your hip dig your thumb in there like really dig it in there like ooh, and then you're gonna pull your knee up flex your foot back and then lift while you're digging your thumb here I'll turn this way so you can see my thumb while you're digging it in straight back and up and you can even move it in different points like right there oh wow He's so right about this. I don't know what it is. It's relieving that muscle that's tight in there. Oh, right there. That's the spot. Do it on this side now. Really dig it in there. Mm. Wow. Athlean X. That guy's got a lot of good tips. On, that's his channel name. Whoa. Oh, and do this, I don't know, maybe 10 times. I mean, it's like some kind of miracle. And then my last stretch, you know, just this one, the, what do they call it? Uh, a baby, a doggy, no, a, what is this thing? I don't know. Breathe. You can even stick your arm through here. 
stretch that shoulder, put your hand up on your back. Thread the needle. For some reason, I just, this feels really good on my back. And then I like this one, armpits to your knees. This is a downward dog, that one I know. You know I'm a gymnastics person. I do like to do some of the yoga workouts. They're really good. I just can't keep up with all the names. And you can even lift. And then when your back's not as tender, I like to twist. But I wouldn't do that twist until you're untenderized. Like a nice fresh pork chop. Good. And now for the roller. Last step. So I like to, I like to roll everything out. I get my leg, I get my butt, like that. I go on the side. And then you do that on the other side. Here, here. But I usually do 20, 10 to 20 of each. Oh, that feels so good. 10 to 20 of each. So I like to lay my head, my neck, right on the crease and just relax. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Masaki. Okay, and then I like to put my upper back onto here. And then I take a deep breath. I let it out and I get a crack sometimes. It feels wonderful. Oh, I got the crack. Yay. I love you, crack. And then I just roll back and forth. My hands here, rest, my head resting in my fingertips. Just like that. I do that maybe 10 times. And then I cross my arms and then I do it like this. Be careful of your hair because I've rolled. It's already happening. You'll, ah, you'll roll your hair in the roller and... It's like the roller attacks you. Oh yeah, this feels wonderful. And then the last one I do, I lay, you can get one of those long ones, it'll be easier. I start at the top. And again, for this one, oh boy, I'm a little uneven. See how I'm arched? You gotta push that in, no arch. And I'll put my hands here, hold for like 30 seconds, then I'll do them here. Got to keep that those hips rotated up. And then here. Ooh. <sighs> Breathe. And that and then my back usually will feel a little better. Here's one more ending stretch. You can put your hands here, elbows back, and you can just push your hips forward and look up. It'll gently stretch your lower back. Oh yeah, and this one and just lay flat and just go up like this. Just very easy, but if it's too much pain, just don't do it. And then if you can handle it, you can even pull all the way up. But see, that's already hurting my back, so let's just keep it here. Voila! Hopefully your back problems go away. I know, it's so, mm, it's like so miserable. I'm sorry everyone with pain out there. I hope it flies away soon. So thanks for watching. I have lots of gymnastics tutorials and workouts. If you want to check them out on my channel. Or I have an app too. Here's your end of the video trick. Now am I about to hit the ceiling? I can't. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. Ta-da! See you later!